Hello fellow YouTubers, Fair Prepper here. About three, four months ago, um, Mrs. Louisiana Prepper sent me this wonderful elephant garlic. I had mentioned in a video that I was looking for elephant garlic and she was so kind to send it to me. This is the elephant garlic and these are called corms and this is, they have this hard outer shell and I cracked that. I'm going to try planting it two ways. I cracked the hard outer shell and left the inner hard shell. I'm going to do a dozen that way. And then on a dozen, I cracked the inner shell. And I, I think that's probably going to do the best. And then she sent the big, huge elephant garlic. So that's something we're going to plant today and we're going to see what we get from it. Now the rest of these I'm going to save till March. And... Uh, we can plant them in March and see what kind of crop we get out of that if uh, fall or spring is better. But I wanted to say thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Louisiana Prepper. That was so very generous of you. And uh, hopefully I'll get a nice harvest from this and I will pay it forward. And let me get these in the ground. All right, so down here we planted the elephant garlic right next to my garlic. And then these are the complete shell removed, a dozen of them. And then there's a dozen of the non-shell removed. So we'll let you follow the progress. Planted these a month ago. We'll see how long it takes. Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to do a garden update. We got lots of babies showing up on several of this asparagus. It's doing really well. Going to have a nice patch next year. So we've put in the extension on the garden and moved the stevia here. We planted spinach there. The strawberry patch is going up there and we planted uh, carrots from there to there and spinach from here to there and all the way over here. So we'll see how it goes. Moringa tree seems to be doing well. Looks like it likes it in the ground. Very small, about six inches tall. Here we planted radishes in this row. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of beets. We have two potatoes that are coming up from our unharvested spring crop. Garlic and onions. I replanted the onions in the bare spots. Mostly bunching onions. Tomatoes into season. Next year we are going to stake them. Here's the other potato. Doing well. Some onions. There's tomatoes. I've already picked what we had. Beautiful sweet potato flower. So as you can see, sweet potatoes are doing really good. Just filling out. Lots of tomatoes here and there. Some plants are doing better than others. It'll be a few more weeks before we get any. Already harvested green peppers. These are the smaller ones. They're going to take some time, but the plants are doing really good. Sweet peas. Kind of planted here. Four rows. Put some fencing up for them to climb on. So all in all, pulled the tobacco. Garden's looking good. I think that's as big as we're going to get. All right, I've got the water hooked up. We're in business. We've got two down here, three in the center, and two on the edge. Much easier than running the lines. And here's our harvest for today. I have a bag of tomatoes down there, some really pretty ones. And 
about a full bag of uh, green peppers. Not bad. Not bad at all for end of season. And we've got the tobacco hanging in the shed. And here we go. We're ready to put the fence in. Got a couple gates, 500 feet of fencing material, 50 T post. Getting that orchard in. There's my bucket. <laughs> Waiting for me to get him. <laughs>